More Texans are expected to vote by mail in the 2020 presidential election because of COVID-19. Today we learned the Travis County Clerk's Office has already received 17,000 requests for mail-in ballots ahead of the July runoff. It says it would normally see only about 1,000 requests for mail-in ballots. Yesterday, the Texas Supreme Court ruled that a lack of immunity to COVID-19 cannot be the only reason to request a mail-in ballot. But KXAN political reporter John Engel found out they left the decision to voters. The Texas Supreme Court ruled that voters should take their own health into account when deciding to request a mail-in ballot. If a voter is concerned that they have a condition or a sickness, that means that they can't show up in the polling place without taking the risk of injuring their own health, then that voter has every right to vote uh, by mail. County clerks review applications but do not investigate claims of disability. The voter has a condition such as um, asthma, diabetes, um, any other kind of immunocompromised system, if the voter has comorbidities, all of those are going to be included in the voter's judgment about asking for a ballot by mail. The application to request a mail-in ballot is actually pretty simple. There's one little box that asks if you have a disability, but other than that, it doesn't define what a disability is or ask you what your disability is. Attorney General Ken Paxton still contends that a disability means you physically can't get to the polls, but Texas Election Code says the sickness falls under the umbrella of disability. Not your fear that somehow by going to the polls you'll get worse. That's not even close to what we're talking about. This was kind of the outcome. That, Jake that Pugh of Austin has suffered from asthma award. and plans to apply for a mail-in ballot, fearful too that he could bring something home to his family. It becomes a real balancing act of do you risk bringing that, you know, exposure in or do you, or is voting more important? And I, we don't, I just don't like to have to make that decision. John Engel, KXAN News. If you think you qualify for a mail-in ballot, county clerks must receive your application by July 2nd to qualify for the July runoff elections. If you're wondering just how many Texans vote by mail in the last two big elections, it's between four and four and a half percent. In 2018, where Texas statewide offices were up for a vote, over a half million mail-in ballots were counted. That's out of 8.3 million ballots cast. In the last presidential election in 2016, just under 450,000 mail-in ballots were counted. That was one close to nine that was out of close to 9 million votes cast.